Pak Bogom is a sweet and innocent looking guy who attracts so many women's attention. His smiles could make so many women's heart flutter. He gained a lot of fans from all spectrum by surprising the audience every time with new sides of him that we have never seen before. While waiting for him to return from the military service, you can stay optimistic with his new movie releasing soon. To amp you up, here are 10 facts about Pak Bo Gom. He was almost never born into this world. Pak was born on June 16, 1993 in Seoul, South Korea. As the youngest of three siblings, his mother was pregnant with him at a late age. Both his parents did not know that his mother was pregnant. At that time, his mother suffered an illness which required her to consume several types of medicine. After his parents learned about the pregnancy, they considered aborting him as they were worried about giving birth to a deformed child. Fortunately, they decided to proceed with the pregnancy, but the challenges did not stop there. Pak got the serious fever when he was a baby, so his parents had to take him to emergency. Thankfully, he recovered, and a pastor said that as a blessing, the baby should be named Bogom which means the precious sword. He was a musical major and wanted to be a singer-songwriter. Pak started playing the piano when he was just five years old, and he was the pianist in his church choir. Maybe that's why he really dreamed of being a musician and chose a musical theater major in Yongji University. He was also the music director for his graduating production, Hairspray. He wanted to be a singer-songwriter, so he sent a video of himself singing while playing the piano to several entertainment companies during his second year in high school. He later accepted an offer from Cytus HQ, one of the leading talent management agencies in South Korea. The company suggested he change course to become an actor instead, which he accepted. In an interview with Naver, he said, Before I debuted, I dreamt of becoming a singer and went on auditions. I've always loved music. Overcame bankruptcy. He always seemed happy, cheerful, and charming. But not all the time he's feeling the same. He had experienced difficulties in life which are unavoidable. Apart from the loss of his mother when he was young, it was revealed that he also went bankrupt. The actor filed for bankruptcy in 2014, but it was not his own doing. In 2008, he was made to sign on as a co-guarantor when his father took a loan of 30 million won, around $26,000, to start a business. As his father was unable to repay the debt, the loan accumulated interest over the years, becoming close to 800 million won, around $700,000. The court ordered creditors to write off most of the debt, and Pak was able to pay off the 30 million won in full within six months. His big break. Although he gained immense popularity in 2016, he had his first taste of fame with 2015 KBS2 drama Hello Monster, which he acted as a psychopath. He received rave reviews for his acting after the show aired. He then went on to win Best Supporting Actor and the Popularity Award Actor at the year-end KBS Drama Awards at the age of 22. Solidified his star status with Reply 1988 and Love in the Moonlight. In 2016, he starred in TVN's drama Reply 1988 as a prodigy who is unbelievably ditzy in real life. The drama was a huge hit, reaching a rating of 19.6%. Among all the characters that he had played so far, his character in Reply 1988 as genius Badoog player is really the closest to his real-life personality. He is really a well-mannered guy who is very filial to his family. His natural clumsiness is also very evident. He has been declared the nation's little brother and nation's son-in-law because he was the favorite of all the mothers in the hit drama. Due to the success of Reply 1988, the actor and his male co-stars went on to star in the Korean reality show Youth Over Flowers, in which the group traveled to Africa together. Then he starred as a crown prince in KBS2's drama Love in the Moonlight. That was another drama that solidified the actor's status as a leading Korean celebrity. Ratings for the drama peaked at 25.3%, made him a household name, and got a nickname Nation's Crown Prince. His bombastic dance for the drama trailer made headlines when it first came out. Since then, he's been asked to showcase his dancing on several variety shows. He was arrested and crashed the rent car. During the filming of Youth Over Flowers in Africa, Pak was arrested by the local police for not stopping on a road checkpoint while driving. It was a funny and sad anecdote during that trip, as it was his first time on the driving duty. The day after, he decided to take courage and be the first driver of the day. Unfortunately, his confidence dropped further after he managed to crash the backside of their car on a wall, seconds after hitting the gas pedal. This becomes so funny when you know that he has a class 1 license. He's a good swimmer. Despite being a great actor, a musically talented, he also a good swimmer. 
Having a competitive ability in swimming, he was in the swimming varsity team of Seoul Mugdong Middle School. When the Love in the Moonlight cast went to Cebu, Philippines, his incredible swimming skill was praised by his co-worker Han Su Yan. She described how gracefully he dove into the sea. She even said that he looked like the prince of the sea. He loves taking the subway. Pak is more down-to-earth than he looks. He likes taking subways because it is always punctual. Some pictures of him on a train also have surfaced online, and an employee from his agency also said how the actor refused his offer to call him a cab and chose the nearest subway instead. Nonetheless, he continued to be spotted on public transport several times. When asked if he could stop taking the subway, he simply answered, it's fast and on time. The subway is best to take when I have to meet someone. With just 1,301, I can go anywhere in Seoul. After his popularity skyrocketed in 2016, the actor commented, now I don't think I can ride the subway anymore either. He is known for his good manners. The Korean media dubbed him as national man of good influence due to his kindness and politeness. There are some reports of his respectable behavior and good manners wherever he goes. He has been gaining a high profile and positive image from people. Among many compliments from his colleagues, actress Rami Ron, who worked with him in Reply 1988, praised and roasted him at the same time when she said Bo Gom doesn't have any flaws, that's what makes him so boring. Pak is also very humble to his fans and is often brought to tears during fan meetings. He really knows how to treat his fans and often does cute and romantic gestures to his fans, like hugging and even carrying his fans. His ideal type. Everybody have an ideal type, including the actor Pak Bo Gom. In speaking to Elle magazine about his ideal type, he revealed, I want someone easy to be with, like a friend, but someone that can take care of me like a mother. In other interviews, he also said that he likes short-haired girls with a bright smile, can cook well, is kind-hearted, and polite.